electromagnetic effect in organic chemistry in this lecture i will teach you my personal trick of positive e effect and negative e effect also you will learn the type of electromagnetic effect and uses of electromagnetic effect so watch this lecture till the end and you will learn something awesome firstly let me teach you the basic concept of electromagnetic effect consider this sleeping dog now let it hears the sound of a cat the sleeping dog will instantly wake up there are 100% chances that the dog will attack on the cat now consider the opposite case if there is no sound of a cat the dog will enjoy his sleeping period similarly consider this alkene let i place attacking reagent near this alkene now this alkene will wake up and it will change its structure like a dog secondly consider the opposite case if there is no attacking reagent this alkene will enjoy its sleeping period thus we say that this waking up of alkene in the presence of attacking reagent is known as electromagnetic effect let me repeat it this waking up of alkene in the presence of attacking reagent is known as electromagnetic effect so note it down this easy analogy of electromagnetic effect now what is electromagnetic effect well consider this alkene which contain a double bond we already know that one is pi bond and another is sigma bond remember that pi bond contains pi electrons and sigma bond contains sigma electrons secondly i place attacking reagent like hydrogen ion in front of it as a result of this alkene will wake up i mean the pi electrons will shift to this carbon due to which positive charge will appear on this carbon and negative charge will appear on this carbon now this alkene becomes instant dipole i mean there is one positive pole and one negative pole we call it instant dipole so we say that this alkene becomes instant dipole due to this attacking reagent therefore we define electromagnetic effect as the formation of instant dipole due to the transfer of pi electrons in the presence of attacking reagent is known as electromagnetic effect let me repeat it the formation of instant dipole due to transfer of pi electrons and the presence of attacking reagent is known as electromagnetic effect also remember these important points about electromagnetic effect it is a temporary effect i mean it only occurs during chemical reactions secondly it is only observed in pi bond i mean it doesn't occur in alkene or having single bond thirdly it only occurs in the presence of attacking reagent hence note down all these important points now let me teach you some examples of electromagnetic effect consider these symmetrical molecules now i place attacking reagent in front of them we know that there is a double bond or pi bond this double bond contains pi electrons now these pi electrons will shift to this carbon as a result positive charge will appear on this carbon and the negative charge will appear on this carbon on the other hand there is also possibility that these pi electrons will shift to this carbon thus electromagnetic effect is observed in this organic compound secondly there is also pi electron present in this molecule now these pi electrons will shift to this carbon as a result positive charge will appear on this carbon and negative charge will appear on this carbon on the other hand there is also possibility that these pi electrons will shift to this carbon thus electromagnetic effect is observed in this organic compound now consider these unsymmetrical organic compounds we can see that there is a double bond which contain pi electrons here in this compound oxygen is present we know that oxygen is highly electronegative atom it will strongly pull the shear period of electrons hence the pi electrons will shift to oxygen atom as a result 
positive charge will appear on carbon and negative charge appears on oxygen. Remember that in this organic compound, you cannot shift pi electrons toward carbon because electronegative atom oxygen is present. Thus, electromeric effect is observed in this organic compound. Secondly, in this organic compound, nitrogen is highly electronegative atom. It will pull the pi electrons towards itself. As a result, positive charge will appear on carbon and negative charge will appear on nitrogen. Thus, electromeric effect is observed. Thirdly, in this compound, there is alkyl group CH3. We know that it is electrons donating group. Hence, pi electrons will shift in this direction to this carbon. Positive charge appears on this carbon and negative charge appears on this carbon. Thus, electromeric effect is observed in it. Hence, these are the different examples of electromeric effect. Now, let me teach you the types of electromeric effect. Well, there are two types of electromeric effect. Positive electromeric effect and negative electromeric effect. Here, let me teach you my personal trick to remember positive and negative electromeric effect. If pi electrons and attacking reagents are at the same site, it is called as positive electromeric effect. If pi electrons and attacking reagents are at different sites, it is known as negative electromeric effect. Now consider this organic compound and this attacking reagent. The pi electrons will shift to this oxygen. Positive charge appears on this carbon and negative charge appears on this oxygen. Here, let me ask you, where this attacking reagent will attack? Well, the easy trick is negative and positive attracts. This positive hydrogen will attack on this negative carbon. Thus, we get this organic compound. Now listen carefully. Here, pi electrons shift to this oxygen and the reagent also attack on this oxygen. I mean, pi electrons and attacking reagents are at the same site. Thus, we call it positive electromeric effect. On the other hand, consider this case. We know that these pi electrons will shift to this oxygen. Positive charge appears on this carbon and negative charge appears on this oxygen. Here, let me ask you, where this attacking reagent will attack? Well, we already know the trick. Positive and negative attracts. Hence, this CN will be attached to this positive carbon. We get this organic compound. Now listen carefully. Here, pi electrons shift to this oxygen, but the reagent CN doesn't attack on the oxygen. Rather, it attacks on the opposite side. I mean, pi electrons and attacking reagents are at different side. Thus, we call it negative electromeric effect. These are the two types of electromeric effect. Finally, let me teach you the application of electromeric effect. Well, electromeric effect helps us to determine the product of any chemical reaction. For example, consider this chemical reaction. We know that this compound contains double bond where pi electrons are present. These pi electrons shift to this carbon and opposite charge appears on each carbon. Secondly, this hydrogen fluoride contains two attacking reagents. Hydrogen is a positive attacking reagent and fluorine is a negative attacking reagent. Now, this positive hydrogen will attack on this negative carbon. Well, this negative fluorine will attack on this positive carbon. As a result, we get this organic compound. Secondly, consider this reaction. Pause the video and try to solve it. Well, we know that nitrogen is a highly electronegative atom. It will attract pi electrons strongly. Secondly, hydrogen is a positive species and hydroxide is a negative species. Now, this positive hydrogen will attack on this negative nitrogen. This negative hydroxide will attack on this positive carbon. As a result, we get this organic compound. Thus, using electromeric effect, 
we can easily determine the products of any chemical reaction. I hope that you have learned all about electromeric effect.